Namaste, Sasrikal Aslamakum. Welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Sandy. So this time we're going to be talking about the lower spine and the lower nerve network. We're talking specifically about L1 through L5, the lower pelvic area going to sacrum and coccyx. So this area we classically know in chiropractic, of course, when people complain of low back pain, but that is such a huge category. So what are the things that can happen? Someone can have back pain where it's going right through the entire center. They may go side to side. Some patients have described things like a burning sensation, tingling, stabbing sensation. Some people will also say certain positions. They'll say things like if I sit, if I stand or walk, if I drive too long, if I sit in front of a computer, it only happens in the morning, it only happens at night. There's so many permutations. And guys, this is only 50% of the story. That same nerve network is overlapping with the large intestine. It overlaps with bladder, overlaps with reproductive organs. So we wanna protect those systems. If it gets chronic enough, those organs can actually start to get impacted. And again, what we always say in chiropractic, drugs and surgery are there, but they should be a last resort. They're hard on the body, there's side effects, obviously some risk with that. So we always want conservative, natural care. So what chiropractors do, They'll, prob they'll take a proper x-ray. They have computers that'll do a proper analysis. They wanna see which segments have shifted, which segments have shifted. Once they've done their proper analysis, they'll let you know if they can help. And then from there, gently getting it back in line so the body can start to work again. Another thing can also happen here is something called sciatica. It's a fancy way of saying if there's a stabbing sensation of brutal pain that can actually shoot to the legs, it can stop at the knee, the foot, go all the way through the system. If you've ever had it or if you've known someone who've had it, it's, it's brutal. It can be very um, debilitating to say the least. So what we're doing in chiropractic is gently doing our analysis, getting things back in place with precision. There's no guesswork, seeing exactly what's happening and letting people have that normal life. And I gotta tell you, you know, uh, being in practice for so many years, when your health gets affected, other things get affected as well. And the first thing that comes to mind is family, you know? It affects the family, it's hard to go to social events, and even if you're at home, it's hard to give the best to your spouse, it's hard to give the best to the kids. Another thing that can happen is it can affect your profession, which can means affects your income. And I feel sad, but we see this where people have to go on disability, take time off. If someone has their own business, they can't take their time off. It's, it's very, very tough. And another thing that gets affected is just your personal life. So for some patients, they're like, you know, I gotta get well because I love playing tennis. I love badminton. I just wanna be active again. I just wanna be healthy and independent. And for some people, that's, that's a huge priority. A lot of patients like going to the gym and they don't want anything to stop them. So what your chiropractor will do is a proper x-ray, proper computer scan, do a full analysis, and then from there, with time and repetition, get you back onto the road to health. And then a good doctor should also maintain it. Um, obviously in the beginning you may see your chiropractor more frequently as you, start, you make up for lost time and then after that they will recommend some kind of maintenance, something to at least say, hey, if things happen in life, let's keep it strong, let's never go back to where we were, let's maintain that system, let's keep it healthy and strong so you can have the best life possible and especially as you get older, wouldn't it be nice to maintain your body, avoid a walker, avoid a cane, and God forbid avoid something like a wheelchair, and just be healthy and independent, because as you get older, maybe you want to work, maybe you want to do charity work, and a lot of older people, their vision is to finally travel. They were so busy working their whole lives, they may want to see different parts of the world. If this is not working right, how can you get on a plane for 10 hours? How can you go for six hours? How can you even go for drives for two, three hours? So you want to get the body corrected, maintain the body so as you grow up and you get older it's a predictable way to live life so god bless you i only wish you only the best i'll catch you next week it's dr